If you guys need any cheap codes or cheap games, make sure to head on over to G2A.com and use Dirty at checkout to get an extra discount. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the top five silver goalkeepers in FIFA Ultimate Team. And this could be the most debatable countdown I've done this year. Goalkeepers are always going to be a toss-up. Everyone has different experiences. Some will agree, some will disagree. As always, you enjoy the content, drop a like, especially if you want to see me get involved with the top five informs man of the match players i might enlist a good friend of mine services marshall 89 hd mr player review himself and also drop some comments do you agree with my choices with the top five silver goalkeepers who's in your top five like i said i know this could get uh very dicey in terms of debates and which players are really going to make a big impact in people's personal experiences whether it was good or bad with all these different goalkeepers here we go into the first batch of honorable mentions and we've got Westwood. Six foot two, eyes are blue, that's probably not true. But we just hit a triple rhyme scheme and he's got all the stats you're looking for. And I feel that he's very consistent. And that's something I can't stress enough. You want a consistent goalkeeper and if you can find somebody at the silver or bronze level that's not terrible and can compete with some of the golds, you've got yourself a gem. We have Schmeichel next to him. Not much for me to say. I wish his positioning was a tad bit better. And then it hits. And the only stat that hits is not awesome at is kicking. And who really cares how well you kick the ball? I rarely even kick the ball with my goalkeepers. Almost, I would say, 95 to 90% of the time, I roll it out. Or I put it on the ground, and then I just pass it short. As we continue cooking with our second batch of honorable mentions, we've got Gomez the Brazilian. And I reckon this guy is going to slip into quite a few subscribers' top fives. However, he does remind me of Diego Alves. If I had to have the silver version, he's all over the place. Very hit and miss. When he's on, he's going to be one of the best silver goalkeepers in the game. However, when he's off, he doesn't catch anything. He's going to parry stuff into the back of the net. Very frustrating experience. And then we have Gunak. And I'm sure that I'm mispronunciating his name because any Turkish player I seem to ruin it but when we're looking at consistency good numbers I've enjoyed using them built a couple squads with them never had big issues uh, the goals that went in they were supposed to be scored on it was defensive errors and then Sterari you can always count on Italians uh, making things happen for you another guy that has all the statistics you could ever ask for and he's not a great kicker he's not a great facilitator but I don't use that it doesn't matter at number five, we've got our first 72. Hennessy makes it into the countdown, well deserved. And I would even say with silver goalkeepers, they need to be a little bit higher rated. I don't think you're going to see too many people liking sleeper picks that are 68, 69, even 70 overalls. You're looking at 72 to 74 kind of being your premium range, but I've got no issues with him. He's always been good for me. He's got great size. Size matters. Don't let anybody tell you different. Size matters. At number four, we've got Horn, the German powerhouse, the typical structured goalkeeper. Makes very few mistakes. As I was saying before, consistency is crucial for success. And he's six foot three. He's going to defend the aerial threats. He gets down well. Nothing for me to say that's negative. At the midway point, we've got the tongue twister, Tachu Shu Shano. And I know I just ruined all of that. I, I could practice this one in the mirror and it's not going to come out any clearer. But he is the epitome of a dominant and, and just a successful goalkeeper when you're looking at silvers. He's massive and you can see it. He looks like a Courtois. And he gets his hands whew, left, right, center, up, down, corner kick, set pieces. He's he's doing his thing. At the runner-up position, we have Ali al -Absi. And you're seeing a trend here. He's six foot four, and the majority of the goalkeepers on the top five, I think everyone is big. And it just makes a difference. They cover more of the net and they make it look natural. And this is why I have issues with Casillas, even as high rated as he is. There's certain goals he gives up or of 50-50s he loses that the bigger goalkeepers just don't. Topping the charts and it shouldn't come to a surprise. We've got Big Coastal. That's right. I'm not ruining two Romanian names in the top five. And he's just going to be a difference maker at the silver level. If you're ever entering a tournament and you can get him into your squad, he will change. He will impact. He will make an instantaneous difference and your success especially in 1v1s and just kind of taking over the aerial situations you're not going to give up as much bs 
And in FIFA, whew, that's a pretty big guarantee. If you guys enjoy the content, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA. And I have a lot more coming for you ASAP, ASAP.